Hey, you. Yeah, you. What are you doing? I know what you're doing. You're getting ready to listen to today's episode of Martial Arts Radio. Well, here we are. Episode 123 is coming at you in just a moment, and it's all about Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'm Whistlekick's founder, but I'm better known as your host, Jeremy Lesniak. Whistlekick, if you don't know, makes the absolute best sparring gear, apparel, and accessories for practitioners and fans of traditional martial arts. I'd like to welcome all of our new listeners and thank everyone that's come back again. All of our past podcast episodes, show notes, and a lot more are at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. From that site, you can sign up for our newsletter, and I really think you should, because we offer exclusive content to subscribers, discounts, and it's the only place to find out about upcoming guests. When we take a look at our sales, you know, we're seeing a lot of our sparring helmets go out to people that do MMA, kickboxing, and other sports that are really outside traditional martial arts. Why? Because there's nothing more comfortable and protective than a whistle kick helmet. Just like the rest of our gear, it holds up amazingly well. If it's going to work well for those folks, it'll work just as well, if not better, for your needs. You can check out our helmets and all of our gear at whistlekick.com. Today, like I said in the intro, is all about Jean-Claude Van Damme. I bet you didn't know that's a stage name. His given name is, and I may butcher this, so I apologize, Jean-Claude Camille Francois Van Varenberg. Quite a mouthful and certainly not a name destined for international stardom. You've probably heard his nickname, though, The Muscles from Brussels. That one always makes me chuckle. JCVD, as his still long name is often abbreviated, was born in 1960, making him 55 as we record this. He was born in Belgium and started martial arts at 10. Specifically, his father put him in a Shotokan karate school because he felt he was weak. He also studied ballet from 16 to 21, and at 18, he earned his black belt. Not long after, he started weight training and even won a Mr. Belgium bodybuilding title. While some people may look at martial arts and weight training and then see ballet as sort of an odd choice, Van Damme would disagree. Ballet, this is a quote, is an art, but it's also one of the most difficult sports. If you can survive a ballet workout, you can survive a workout in any other sport. During his time training in karate, he earned a spot on the Belgian national karate team. In fact, that spot only took him four years to earn. Starting at 15, he spent four years competing in semi-contact karate, compiling a record of 44 and 4. You know, a lot of people point at Van Damme and say he's not a legitimate martial artist, that he didn't put in the time. And the research we've done for this show actually shows otherwise. He was on the team when the Belgian national karate team won the European Championship in 1979. In 1977, he started his full contact kickboxing career with 18 wins, all of them by knockout, and a single loss over the next five years. He retired after that in 1982, the same year that Mike Anderson of Professional Karate Magazine named JCVD as an upcoming prospect. That was when he moved to the U.S. to hopefully become an action star. He had a few small roles before his role in No Retreat, No Surrender, where he played the villain, Ivan the Russian. He'd spent some time as a bouncer at a club owned by Chuck Norris, a job that Norris himself gave him. There's even some evidence the two of them used to spar in the early 80s. He was the original choice to play the alien in Predator, but was replaced at some point during filming. It seems he was a bit disgruntled with being unseen. You know, he had that mask on, and he didn't like how hot the suit was, which may be fair because he passed out at least once while wearing it. Of course, his breakout role was as Frank Dukes in the 1988 movie Bloodsport. The film was actually considered so bad that when it was finished, it was shelved. In fact, the film sat for two years while Van Damme pushed the studio to release it, even helping them to recut the film. Despite the lowly $1.5 million budget, it did $30 million worldwide. One of the most interesting facts about Bloodsport was how he got the role. He was waiting tables when he spotted a producer for Canon Pictures and started showing off his martial arts skills. The producer was impressed enough to invite him to an audition. Next up were the movies Cyborg, Kickboxer, and then... Lionheart, which is a personal favorite of mine. He had a number of successful films, which culminated with Time Cop in 1994, and it was downhill from there. Some claim it was his personal life, a string of marriages and divorces, that stole his focus and led to these poor films. 
Street Fighter, Sudden Death, The Quest, which he directed, and other disappointments led to his almost final theatrical release, Universal Soldier, The Return. That was in 1999, and it wasn't until 2008 we'd see Van Damme in a movie theater again. Through all of this, the stress of constant filming and promotion led to a massive drug habit, which took years to kick. The original Mortal Kombat video game was meant to be based, at least in part, on Jean-Claude, but he was involved in another game at the time. The creators ended up creating the character Johnny Cage and basing it on him instead. If you find that hard to believe, go back and look at the character. One of his signature moves is performing a split and punching the opponent in the groin. Of course, we all know Van Damme for his splits, and that same move was one his character in Bloodsport does against the sumo opponent. That same year saw the film JCVD, which had some critical success. Time Magazine said his performance was so impressive, it was second only to Heath Ledger's role of the Joker in the Batman film that year. Van Damme said during a 2009 interview that during the film's promotion, he hit rough times, ending up homeless for a bit. And in his words, sleeping on the street and starving in LA. Sylvester Stallone offered him a lead role in The Expendables, but he turned it down. I've heard, but I can't find any proof now, that the role was that of a villain and Van Damme was expected to lose, and that was why he wouldn't do it. Of course, he did show up in The Expendables too. He's been diversifying his roles as he's aged, doing commercials and even sitcoms. It seems that his dramatic stuff is better received overseas than in the U.S. He has an upcoming role in Kickboxer Retaliation Plan, which is following on the heels of the 2016 release of Kickboxer Vengeance. And in extremely recent news, i.e. less than 48 hours old as we're recording this, Amazon has approved a Jean-Claude Van Damme starring exclusive for their content arm, and is titled Jean-Claude Van Johnson. And in this show, he's an actor by day and a retired secret ops agent by night. It sounds every bit as delightfully terrible as we've come to expect of Van Damme, and I'm quite excited to see it. What's your favorite Van Damme movie? Let us know at WhistlekickMartialArtsRadio.com or on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram, all with the username WhistleKick. Head on over to WhistlekickMartialArtsRadio.com for the show notes, including some great photos from Van Damme's movies. I know we say that all the time, and we do try to put in good stuff in the show notes to get you over there and give you some added value to the show. But for today, I really feel like we went above and beyond. There are some childhood photos of Van Damme and a photo of the statue of him in his hometown of Brussels. Seriously, I couldn't make that up. If you want to be a guest on the show, or maybe you have an idea for a show topic, go ahead and fill out the form on the website. And don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter so you can stay up on everything we do. You can learn more about our products at whistlekick.com, like our great sparring helmets. You can get those at whistlekick.com or on Amazon. And that's all for today. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.